Hey guys, Klander here, and today I am going to be unboxing Mortal Kombat X. Finish the unboxing. Or, you know, some sort of Shao Kahn quote in there somewhere, probably. So, anyways, we've got this nice little plastic wrapping on it that we're gonna just quickly remove. But I came prepared. I'm wearing my Pirates vs. Ninja shirt, which is, as we all know, uh, pretty much Mortal Kombat, you know, pirates, you know, it's a big fight in Mortal Kombat, you know, you got Sub-Zero and Scorpion fighting it out. This is now, Grant, they are both ninjas, but, uh, uh, let's just put a nice pirate hat on top of Scorpion. And that is fine. Okay, there we go. We have the plastic off, the stuff that everybody loves, am I right, am I right, am I ha, ha, fa. Anyways, we're just gonna ignore that. So yeah, here's the nice little uh, sexy box. Oh my! Mm. So yeah, nice little boxing. Uh, it's got some stuff in it, and we're just gonna take this paper stuff off. Oh, oh, careful! Don't rip it. I'm gonna rip it. Oh no! No! Oh god! No! Uh, it's almost off. There we go. Uh, there. Ta-da! Okay, so yeah, nice. I will. It, it, it's kind of plain, but it is definitely very sleek. I, I like that, and I kind of don't like it at the same time. Like, I want a lot of stuff going on it. But, it, eh, sleek is nice, too, at times. Yeah, but, um, I think this came off wrong. So, uh, I'm just gonna, um, uh, oh, oh, no, this isn't going well. Um, what is that? Uh, oh no! Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what was that? What? What is? Oh no! Oh no! Um, there's, there's nothing in that. Oh. Uh, this. I thought this was gonna come out, but there's nothing. Um, this was there. So that was um, that that was something. I kind of. Weird design choice. It's squishy. Squishy is nice. Anyways, we got the got the game here for Xbox One because you know, I like my achievements. That's pretty much all there is to it. And my Halo's got all my models. So, what do we has here? Is oh, very nice. Very nice. But the way I look, look at him, he's doing like a little dance or something, but we got like a scorpion. Like, well, that's very nice. Um, I don't know. There we go. And I'm sure it doesn't go there, but it's the only thing. It's perfect. He looks perfect, doesn't he? And my right guy's perfect. That's um, exactly how I remember a scorpion looking. Is there? Does he just not come with a stand? Does he just stand up? I'm just going to test it out on the box. Okay, it is, I has confirmed it, he just, he has hand goes on the ground and the feet and stuff and it's very nice, very nice. So this is just a nice little calling card thing that says that this is 100% authentic and like where it came from. It, uh, the, this, this designer figurine of Scorpion has been issued as part of a worldwide limited edition envision and sculpted by course. It's pretty cool, you know, it's nice and shiny and black and gold and sleek. And just playing nice. Ignore this, I'm just reading stuff. Woo, more plastic to open. Yeah. Just put that on my knee, because, you know, where else am I going to put it? Okay, so this is all the stuff that came in the case of Mortal Kombat X. We got, we got the nice, we got the thingy, the case. The, the game, the disc, thank you, me. There we go. Words. Anyways, uh, so this is what we got here. We got a best game manual ever. You know, it used to be so sad when games didn't have game manuals, but I'm so glad they have game manuals now. Aren't they just the best? Anyways, we got a... Uh, we have Goro as a playable character. We have a 
the uh, special gold skin version of Scorpion, and we has all the um, all the what's some McCall. We have the DLC pack for all the, the DLC characters. Oh, the, the game. So yeah, that's everything that uh, came with the kit that came with the collector's edition. Just making sure I'm not going to Now then, um, I, I was kind of dumb and I just assumed that this was going to be a steelbook ca game case because that's what they usually come with. And I love them, so, you know, tad disappointed about that. Uh, <laughs> I fell to the ground. So, you know, we. This is a pretty nice statue. I need to figure out where this stupid thing goes, though. <sighs> okay, so after like an hour of trying to figure out where it went, it apparently goes on his hand, so. Cool. I figured it out. I, I thought, it, at first, I thought it was gonna be like a sword that he like. But um, it's not, it's his like, get over here thing that he does. Woo! So yeah. Now then, I'm gonna do something different that I haven't done before for this, is I'm going to start reviewing my um, the collector's editions and stuff that I unbox. Because I, I figure I should, like if you think about picking up one, you know, you, you should know what it, what it, what I think of it, just in case, you know, you want an opinion of, of mine. I don't know why, but, you know. Anyways, so, to start off this game, we, to start off this, we had the statue, the box, the card that authenticates the statue, and all of the pretty little DLC. And that was it. We didn't get a steelbook case, an art book, no, no like cool collectible other than the statue but so uh, one other thing that you should definitely know is that at the time of this coming out this cost around a hundred and eighty dollars but that's with taxes and stuff so hundred but still hundred and eighty dollars that's ridiculous for like most collectors editions that come with more stuff. One cool statue is not enough for $150 plus taxes, which comes to 100 and 180. It's just what? That's a bear. I do like it. It's nice and sleek and sexy, but it's way too ridiculously expensive. I don't get like it's nice. It comes with all the DLC, but even that isn't that much money for for all of it I I don't get why the collector's edition costs this much money and since it costs so much money and uh, I don't know but uh, when I bought this there was definitely plenty of these left in stock so uh, I'm guessing the price will go down because I'm guessing people are going to be left over with a lot of stock of them because of the price. So the price is probably going... So if you're thinking about getting it, I say wait until the price goes down because that's probably going to happen. It's happened with uh, the Skyrim Collector's Edition, it happened with Halo Reach Legendary Edition, and it's happened with a bunch of them if there's a collector's edition that has a lot of stock left over and this is definitely seems to be the case because it's overpriced with not that much content in it that like it didn't even come with a steelbook case I don't get this okay I like it I mean, if this was 90 to 120 dollars I think I could recommend it a lot more but as it is standing I cannot for what it comes with and the price range. So, that's why I give the Mortal Kombat X Collector's Edition a fatality out of 10. Because you have to, because I am finishing it because I'm just kind of a little bit outraged about this. I was considering about not buying this cool statue. It's very nice, I will admit that. It's very nice made, very shiny. I just think he's got a bulge. Anyways, very childish immature. So this gets a 
fatality out of 10 because while fatalities are cool and awesome and amazing and look so cool, they're very hard to do and it's kind of like you don't have the time for it, kind of like how you don't want to waste all your money on this because you know it's only something that's gonna last a little while so you know that's why it's a fatality out of 10 you know but if you want to pick it up after everything I said go for it I'm just this is my opinion mm, Scorpion say hi anyways that's that's his new voice now so yeah fatality out of 10 and I'm going to finish him like finish this video now so Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, let me know what you think about the, about the review, is it a good, good addition to the unboxing, uh, or do you think it's just kind of a waste of time and boring, please let me know, that would be great, uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you know, maybe it, Maybe it gave you a little bit of knowledge of collector's editions, and if you are going to go out and buy this thing, I, I'm, I'm like 99% positive that you can just wait a while, because these things are probably going to be in stock for a while. Like, maybe not at every single EB game store, or Future Shop, or Best Buy, or wherever. Future Shop isn't even a store anymore. But yeah, it, it'll at, at least on app, it'll probably still be on Amazon for a good while. Uh, and it'll go, it has to go down in price because I do not think many people are going to be paying for this. Anyway, that's my little rant. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, stay classy.